Just what do you think about the uh, the way you guys played in front of you tonight? We played hard. Um, obviously, we, we lost uh, one of our better players, and um, it's really really good to see everyone um, not skip a, skip a beat and just play hard and play our game and um, believe in each other to get the job done. And um, that was a great uh, team win tonight. Speaking of team, what about the team effort defensively against that top line of Toronto? Yeah, um, it's huge, right? That's that's half the game there, and um, some great penalty kills too, and. Uh, like I said, just a great team building game and you know, guys were scoring and making plays and blocking shots and just it kinda the game kinda had everything here for tonight for us. How strong have uh, Dylan and Philip been since coming to your group this, this year? Yeah, they've been a, a big addition for sure. Um, and these guys they put in put in good work. They've been you know, I think it's kinda rubbing off on everyone too, just the the amount of work they put in on their game and focus and preparation and um, it's good to see things connecting as a as a group and um, on the ice. Dylan, overall, what you, would you think about uh, where you guys played tonight? Um, I mean, I thought it was a great, great team effort. Um, I think Vegas thing is Benner stood on his head. He made some un- incredible saves all night. Um, you know, score was 5-1, but uh, he could definitely kept us in it. So um, it was a great, great team effort, and it was, a, it was a big win for us. On your goal, were you expecting that puck to come pop out to you that quickly? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was hoping for it to come out. I was actually uh, calling for it before Sauter got the puck, and he, he made a hell of a play to get, just, like, slip it over to me. And, um, yeah, I was fortunate enough for that one to go in. How long did you spend in front of the net thinking to yourself, oh, my God, I can't believe how alone I am in front of the net? I definitely had that thought. I was like, oh, my God, like, this is this is great if this, if this gets to me. And, uh, thankfully, it did. So. What about Sunquist's effort on, on that play in the corner there? Yeah, he's uh, he was incredible. I thought I thought Sonny was great tonight. Um, it's, it's hard, especially being out for as long as he did, overcoming the adversity they got to overcome. And um, I thought he was an impact player for us tonight. I was just going to say, what was the collective mindset of the group coming into this game, trying to bounce back from a loss the other night, and of course without Robert for the next little while? Yeah, I mean, we definitely had to dig in tonight. I think, uh, like, uh, having Tom out of the lineup is definitely a huge loss for us. And, um, you know, obviously coming off a loss again, we really wanted to have a good game. And, um, yeah, I thought we did so. The work base effort, you got one yeah. there. What did you think about Yeah, the, no question. Our, our guys came to play. Um, the effort for, for 60 minutes, uh, the details in our game, the willingness to block shots, great sticks. You know, that's when you come on the road against a team like this, like you got to be willing to do those things to have success. And, you know, we had 20 guys doing all those things correctly here tonight. Is that something you noticed early, the uh, willingness to get in shot lanes and, and block shots early on? Yeah, and I think we've, five on five, we, we've been pretty good at that, obviously, with Robbie breaking his foot. But... Um, guys have that willingness on our team. Uh, I think our PK, we saw it a lot more today. I thought our sticks were outstanding on the PK to break up some of the plays. Um, but, you know, you got to give the the, the, the the team credit. Like, those those guys, they were dialed in. You know, they came with a purpose to win a hockey game tonight, and they deserve to win. No soon we'll start asking questions without saying without Robert Thomas in the lineup. But, I mean, defensively, what you guys did against that top line, I mean, that's the way you're going to need to play defensively, right? As a whole, it's not just them. Like, I just thought there was there was a commitment. Like, our mindset's got to be that we have to win not one nothing games. You know, and if we end up winning 4-1 or 5-1, great. But we have to be comfortable playing in those games, and that's got to be our mindset. With a performance like this from Jordan Bennington and decisions for Team Canada come in a month or so, it's a performance like that, do a long way to put him on the radar. I think so, and I, well, I just think he's on the radar. How, how could he not? You know, like what he's done last year for this hockey team. Um, I mean, I know Benner. Like I, I, I've coached Benner since junior. Uh, I coached him in Owen Sound. I coached him in San Antonio, and now I have the pleasure to coach him now. You know, and we have two great goalies, Benner and, and Holf. You know, but the one thing I know about Benner, like he is a competitive guy. Mm-hmm. He wants his name out there, and he's going to work for it. Is this the best you've seen Kyrie using all of his tools? Uh, you know, I love, you know, <laughs> even going back to last game, like I, he's just, he, he, he's, he's a two, team first player right now. He's playing team hockey. Um, I was, I was impressed with his game last game. Uh, I know the offense didn't come. We've talked about, you know, getting more pucks to the net. Um, I thought I saw an effort today, but I just think he's playing team hockey. Like it's, you know, he wants to win hockey games, and he's doing whatever right, whatever it takes right now to win hockey games. So what, is, what does that look like for him? What does a team first game look like from what he's what he's doing on the ice? Yeah, I mean, for for the skill players, it's easy to get yourself get away from what the team wants to do and playing a north game and and you know really dumbing it down. 
Um, and here's a guy that's you know using the wall to chip pucks. He gets over the red line if he doesn't have a play. If he can't drive it wide, he's putting it underneath. You know the goal in the second period. It's a forechecking goal. You know they get two guys, him and Bucci, forecheck turnover. It's in the back of the net. You know they're they're doing things the right way, and it's it's winning hockey. What do you think of Sonny tonight? That Sonny was great. I thought he was outstanding. You know for a guy that's been off as long as he have the injury that he came. Uh, through um, not playing, not having a training camp. Yeah, it's just great effort. For guys like Kyrie and Bennington, do you see an extra bump or juice with them playing back here? Um, I think there is a little bit. I don't know if it's over. I mean, maybe your first time you come into Toronto. I think once it, it's nice for these guys to come back home. It's nice to play in Toronto. It's such a great place to play. It's the yeah, crowd. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, if you ask the players, they're just here to win a hockey game, you know, and they want to win a hockey game in front of their, their families too, which is, is important to them. Um, but doing it in Toronto, um, you know, being Ontario kids is, is a big deal. You know, overall, the face-off numbers weren't great tonight. Yep. Do you feel like you got some guys who can win some? Uh, yeah, and our guys work on it. Like, they've been working on it. Bucci works on it. I know he kind of struggled. Uh, he was up against Matthews. He's, he's good in the face-off circle, and that's a part of the game that we can work on. Previous to that, we've been really good. You know, we have been really good, and Robbie is a big part of that. We're going to miss that, but guys guys got to find ways. You know, we got to find different ways, and our wingers got to help out. Um, but the guys are trying. Like, they're, they're working on it. You know, so we'll continue to work on it.